by Hingis Rose who swept to a clear lead. Awake the stars in hot pursuit then Dabawana, Francisca and Splitter down the outside. Hingis Rose now grabbed by Awake the Stars. Baloney goes full bore. Francisca and Splitter are still running on and Hingis Rose is battling away well. Here's a big finish coming up. Hingis Rose just in front. Francisca lunged. Photo. Hingis Rose or Francisca from Awake the Stars and joins the leader. Falvolino in third. LeBay Renata is trying to thread the needle. Red Dalton's now coming through between runners. It's there to strike at the turn. And then Lucky Champion on flattening now. Cosy tackled by LeBay Renard. Trail of Glory. And four out Red Dalton's joining in. Orman pulled the persuader. No good thing as yet. Trail of Glory going with it. And LeBay Renard to the inside. Red Dalton can't win. Trail of Glory can. Yes. Trail of Glory, beat home but LeBay Renard. Step and squeamy. Next in behind those is Life's Like That. Darktown Strutter coming through now. And I'm the Generals on the outside. It's squeamy and Darktown Strutter. The favourites hit the front now. Tyker and Zip and I'm the General on the outside from Life's Like That. But Darktown Strutter, she broke clear over the last uh, 75. And Darktown Strutter spears away, won it by three lengths on the line. Second squeamy just ahead of Ipo. She's taking no shortcuts. Peeled right to the centre of the track. But Rounds them up very quickly over to Sandy Gray and Jack Strike back and the punters knew what they were doing. This was the right form line through Henry's on course. He loves his home track, Ocalupo, and that's his fifth win. He's sailing away for an easy victory and he's down and it's Ocalupo by five over to Sandy Gray. And Ninja, Captivator even wider and chapter and verse is now joining it all of a sudden. It looks like Elvis. He'll come down the centre of the track soon afterwards. Chapter and verse down to the lead. Looks like Elvis out beyond the centre of the track. Then I'm Impinge and Captivator. Chapter and Verse in front. Looks like Elvis is coming strongly now. There's Elvis. Elvis, he hasn't died. He's won the last. Looks like Elvis. Beat home, chapter and verse. I'm in the clear at the right time. No animosity. Nesting Raj start to run on. In the straight, Seb Carth's the leader. Lord Daggers try to weed into the margin. Lord Coconuts emerge to third. The Nesting Raj. No, no animosity. Seb Carth in front. Lord Daggers trying hard. Seb Carth the leader. Can Lord Ag run it down? Lord Ag and Seb Carth going to the line. Seb Carth, too good. Beat Lord Ag. Third, Lord Coconuts. Fourth, Nesting Raj. He's our hero, Lysitra, and Golden Shoes was last. Lynn Lithgow, by the 300 metres, led the way. A squeeze from Lloyd, there was a kick there. Divine Messenger, if anything, will be the danger. Lynn Lithgow, 100 metres left to go. Had a length margin. Divine Messenger, eating into that margin, but running out of time. Lynn Lithgow, too good for them. Beat either Divine. Kuntara's in front from Bonnie O'Reilly. Rare occurrence coming through Kinsharki in her time down the outside. Sold for song and proper response back near the inside. Tycoon Tara still in front. In her time tries on the outside. Latest prop response. Tycoon Tara's in front. Prop response on the outside. Tycoon Tara prop response. Tycoon Tara has just won the Tats Tiara from prop response. It's a 503rd in her time and sold for song. Yeah. And then came Cookie Cutter and Tycoon Flutter right to the outside. Oneness down to the 200 metre mark. Starts to come back to them a little bit. Boom Boom Epic's got about a length and a half to make up. Oneness in front of Boom Boom Epic. Over on the inside is Saxton Rock. Oneness comes down to the 100 metre mark, still in front. Saxton Rock up on the inside, coming to second, but Oneness is the leader, going on strongly. Oneness scores by one length, as it turns out. Saxton Rock second, Boom Boom Epic was third. Left Cass Island claimed fourth.